What's up, people? I'm Herb J, college rep for Warner Music Group in Richmond. I'm Travi Trav, DJ Travi Trav for WVCW. And I'm Mystery Skulls. That's Mystery Skulls, <laughs> man. <laughs> take inspiration from man you you know I hear Michael a lot yeah um you know I really listen to a lot of old music mm -hmm. I really try to listen to a lot of classic records because I like to listen to things to where there's like there's not a lot of production on them you know mm -hmm. so I really love um, one of my favorite artists is David Ruffin um, okay mm -hmm. who was uh, not, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, he had the whole career of pre-Temptations right. and post-Temptations. I have every one of his records. I have all the Jimmy Ruffin records, and I love old soul records. And one thing I say about uh, you said that shows through your music. You said uh, Prince is one of your it's huge. Records. Yeah, and um, I think in Fantasy, yeah, that comes out. And yeah. like when I first heard Fantasy, I thought yeah. that was Prince at first. So. <laughs> That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, you, you, you had that the, vocals going and everything like that. So thank you, I appreciate it. I, I love that one. It was really fun to make. I always had this idea where I could basically make this mix and then take the entire mix and just put it all through one filter and then just like a low pass filter and then just sing on top. And so that's why it's kind of an interesting song when you listen to it on the headphones. There's like this, it's really interesting. Like it's actually the same loop the entire song with the way it's filtered in and out. It, it sounds very, it's very Prince. You know, it's, I, I love it. I'm so proud of that one. Can you, uh, can you speak a little bit about your uh, what people can expect in a performance from you? Yeah. Um, so live, I basically uh, I'm singing and I'm DJing. I'm like a singing DJ. Right. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm mixing a lot of my own tracks and then a bunch of other remixes I've done. Like uh, I did uh, I did a remix for the new Theophilus. Uh, oh, I yes. did uh, I did a remix of that's family too. That's Shout family out to too. Yeah. I did I did a remix of, of Tribe and um, so I play that in my set. I have a bunch of edits that I've done. I did. Um, I had done a remix on the World War Z remix soundtrack, and wow. I played that in the set. So like, there's wow. a bunch of like, it's literally kind of a best of. And so it's, there's a bunch of stuff that's obviously from the record, and there's a bunch of other stuff that just sort of accentuates those tracks. And then, um, so one one question I had to ask is, I know you said you long jumped in high school, right? It's true. <laughs> so, um, would you ever think about crowd surfing? In a <laughs> Have you ever done that? Or would you think about doing that? Right, yeah, I, yeah. I, I could, I could, I probably could. I don't know that I'm there yet, but yeah, maybe yeah. if enough people like my music one day, it could be awesome. Cool, cool. Yeah, that'll um, be a serious jump, right? Yeah, long yeah. jump. Yeah, that's a powerful <laughs> jump, man. Long jump in the crowd, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to duck you, man. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. What's your outlook on that whole movement, man? Because you have, you have David Gutter. Calvin Harris, then you. Right, right, right. Um, I feel <laughs> I've never heard anyone ever say Calvin Harris, David Guetta, and me. But that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, I'll no. take it. I'll take you it. You know, um, when you think of electronic music, thank you know, you. that's what comes to mind. Thank you. Um, you know, I think my stuff is diff it, it's it's similar in that it's it's uh, it's electronic, and then it's different in that my stuff is more song based. I think I really try to bring you know, really having verses and bridges and pre-choruses and like really putting like the classic song structure into electronic music and then because I sing live it's not just you know playing out tracks and so I really I, I feel very lucky that anyone compares me in any way like that but yeah I think my stuff is definitely a little bit different you know and it definitely helps fill a void where there's not a lot of people doing that much live stuff in the electronic space um, right as far as like that you know big sound and um, I, I think it's cool if people compare me but yeah my stuff is different it's it's uh like I said, the live scene definitely, definitely makes it its own thing. For DJs, you know what I mean? Because there's so much that you have to, to do up there to, to make everything run smooth. You got to know the records, know when to cut in, totally. cut out, whatever have you. But then you're throwing vocals on top of it and you, your vocals are nice. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, just I'm like a big fan of Boxy Prince and I've seen David Ruffin and even though I, I don't think I really sound like David Ruffin, I, I, right. wish, I, I wish I could. <laughs> David, <laughs> David. <laughs> yeah, um, David Ruffin's the man. I'm like, I'm like maybe closer to like Eddie Kendricks, uh, you know, anyway, I think he's cool. So I think it's, uh, I just try to put that sort of kind of take all the classic soul records that I listen to and that sort of vocal style and meld it with this sort of kind of electronic, kind of um, daft punky kind of sound and, mm -hmm. and that's sort of where I live. Mm -hmm. And the content on uh, Forever, on your record, is, is it really talks about like the struggle 
from you know to from where you were to get into where you are now uh like is that the only thing that inspires you to write your content like you know what 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 type of writing zones do you get into like what what like pushes you and inspires you totally it's funny you say that i'm definitely that kind of guy like i have to be like it has to feel like it's uphill and like it's a it's a, it's a it has to be a hard battle to mm -hmm. be, you know um but yeah i mean it was tricky i was living in dallas and i moved to la and i didn't have really any money trying to figure it out and then i was writing all those songs at that time and that's really what it was about it was kind of just figuring it out and trying to like find my sound and and survive in LA at the same time. Right. <laughs> it's crazy at first. Right, and, right. And um, like going from Dallas to LA, and, and that's really what a lot of the songs are about. It's Especially like, being so like rare, you're a DJ that sings. So it's, you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Kind of like jumping out there in the game, like, yo, I'm gonna go to LA with this. Dude, people didn't even know at first of all, what is this? So right, like, what are you doing? Yeah, like, what exactly do you do? Yeah, right. it was it was pretty, it was, I remember I got off stage one of the first times and someone said, were you really singing? And I was like, <laughs> yes, I was really, I was really singing, like, it's cool, like, they just, right. it's, I think it's a compliment. I'm like, okay, like, it, <laughs> I'll take it. I mean, is the LA scene as vicious as people say it is? No, 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 not at all. Not really? No, 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 everyone is really cool in LA. I think LA is kind of a place where, uh, you know, no one's really from there. Mm -hmm. A lot of people go there to, to do, you know, to make a movie or to write a song, to write a book, or mm -hmm. whatever. Uh, and so you get this sort of one type of person, that kind of dreamer personality. Right. And when you get a lot of that type of person, right, it's it's not really, um, it's not really cutthroat like you think it would be. It's actually more uplifting. Like people are very like, hey, you, good, you're awesome. And, and, right? and, yeah, and then it's really cool, you know. Whereas like in places like you know, Dallas, for example, like. You know, I knew people that were doing music and then they quit to like sell insurance or something. No. Oh, Do you know what I'm saying? It. Whereas yeah. like in LA, like no one's quitting to sell insurance. <laughs> so how did the, the uh, Warner approach come about? Like being in that whole, like, go, you know, leaving Dallas, hitting up LA, yeah. and like how that Warner approach get, get there? Um, that's a good question. Um, you know, I was, uh, I was, so I was living in LA and I was living in this neighborhood in, in Koreatown. And um, and I got hit up by this venue called uh, Bootleg Theater, and it was right near right near my right near where I lived. You know, I could walk there, so it was like right. the one in my neighborhood. And they said, "Do you want to do this residency?" And I didn't even know what a residency was. Like I was like, "What's a residency?" And they're like, "Okay, you're gonna play every Monday for this month, and you're gonna headline." And I was like, I had only lived in LA for like four months at the time. I was like, no one's gonna come to see my show. Like this is gonna be a disaster. I tried to cancel. Like at the last minute, I was like, wow. we got to get out of this. <laughs> I, was abort. Like, I was like, abort, yeah. abort, abort. And we did it anyway. And the first, wow. the first week, I remember I did the first week and there was like maybe like, I don't know, 25, 30 internet fans. And then the second week, it was like sort of double that. And the third week, it was double that. And the wow. fourth week, like all the labels came and it was like pretty full. And, and it was like all the line labels. outside and everybody wow. was there. And it was like, after that, it was like, that's when it, everything kind of started happening. So. I really like owe like a lot of things that, like that. I feel like that was kind of the catalyst at the very beginning, and it wow. was and it was so cool because I, I was literally I didn't even know what that was. Like, was wow. what, like, what do you mean residency? What are some of the goals you have throughout this year and in, in the near future? Um, good question. That is a good question. I'm trying to just because um, the records out now finally, right. so I'm trying to just collaborate with more people and do more remixes and and just more things that can sort of. I don't know, just sort of add to the, to so just do more, more collabs for right. sure. It's an honor to have you in Richmond, man. I'm looking forward to seeing the strip to this tour, man. I'm looking Thank forward to it. Thank looking you. forward to your set, man. Thank you so much. Indeed. Thank you. Thanks, man. Right, Thank man. you. All right. Cool. I'm trying to stay on top of the, the title, man. I know, right? Like, so the other.